with no investment, with no whatever business. And then you will realize, oh, I need to start my own business. After what? After 40 years, you're already what? You're already 60, 70, 75 years old. That may be too late for you. Am I right? Yes. So the earlier you realize this is possible. There are many things that you have heard in school, okay, in the office that you need to unlearn. There are many things you've learned in school from your teacher, from well-respected professors in the universities that you need to unlearn. Erase it from, my, from, our, from our heads and learn new things. Okay? Because at the end of the day, business, stable business will buy into your dreams. Stable business will set you free. If you have a business that has a system, a system in place, whether you're sleeping, whether you're on vacation, whether you're doing something else, whether you're serving the Lord, whether you're serving your church, that system is in place, stable enough to make you earn even while you rest or while you sleep. Would you like that to happen? Yes. And if you would like that to happen, guys, you need to have skills, new skills. Okay? Skills in invitation, skills in presentation, skills in closing. Okay? These are basic skills in invitation. Many of you doesn't even know how to invite. When they invite prospect, hey friend, do you want to be a multi-millionaire? Then the friend said, multi-millionaire, maybe this is a scam. Are we going to kidnap somebody else? Are we going uh, to rob a bank? So don't promise, don't over-promise something that is so vague that your prospect on the other end of the phone won't realize or won't understand. Okay? Just ask them, hey, I have a business. When can we meet? You need to hear this. When are you free? Tomorrow or tomorrow? Okay? So when you invite, guys, when you invite, give them options. Okay? Don't make it hard for your prospect. When you invite, just give them options. So your prospect would just choose whether A or B. That's simple. Don't invite them, oh, I have a good business. You need to see this. When are you free? So it's very open-ended. So the prospect has a chance to make an alibi. Oh, I'm very busy. Monday, I have a shooting. Tuesday, I have a modeling. Wednesday, I have a meeting with the rec. Hey, Thursday, I have something else to do. Give them an option. Prospect, I have a great business that you need to see. I see you and I'm making so much money with this. When are you free? Monday or Tuesday? So the prospect would say, ah, oh, okay, uh, Tuesday? Oh, Tuesday. What time will you be better meeting me? 3 o'clock or 6.30? Uh, okay, I'm off by 2 so we can meet at 3 o'clock. So the prospect ends up choosing Monday or Tuesday? 3 o'clock or 6.30? Okay, am I clear? Yes. So when you say that, never, never invite, guys, never, never invite through text, through WeChat, through email. It is very unprofessional. Okay? You call, you make an investment to call. You call them, hey, friend, I have a good business. I see you and me making so much money with this. When are you free, Monday or Tuesday? Partner, may nakita akong negosyo. Ang ganda nito. Pwede natin ito pagtulungan. Kikita tayo ng malaki. Kaya lang kalibre. Bukas o bukas. Bukas o sa makalawa. Alas stress o alas ais. Just give them option. A or B. A or B. Okay? And then before you put down the phone, okay? Before you put down the phone, you say, Partner, I'll be seeing you by Tuesday, 6.30. Please remember that. Yeah, I'll be there. Before you put down the phone, you say something like this. Partner, Friend, you're not naman the type of person who backs out at the last minute, no? <laughs> okay? If, if, if your prospect is a very close friend of yours, you can say that. If he or she is not that close to you, or she may just be an acquaintance, what you can say is this, Friend, if something would come up and you cannot attend, please inform me ahead of time so I can give your seat to somebody else. Would it be okay? Yeah. And of course, the prospect would say, uh, okay, I'll do that. If something would come up and I cannot attend, I'll inform you ahead of time. Okay, bye-bye. So if he will have, if he will have some doubts or something in mind that I don't want to attend that meeting, I don't know what even it is, he will have some second thought. I already told the person 
that I will inform you ahead of time. And it's already what? It's already 1 p.m. Our meeting is supposed to be 3 p.m. It would be very short notice. Takhiya, I'll just attend. Okay? So the, the, the goal of invitation is just to invite, never to present. For so many people, they're so excited when they invite, they're already present. I have this exciting business, you need to see this, you will earn so much, the investment is 1,000 dirham, you would like to invest 7,000 dirhams. You end up explaining the business over the phone. Never, never do that. When you invite, just invite. Create a huge amount of C. What is C? Curiosity. Never spill the products, never spill the business, never spill how much investment it needs to be done for them to earn. Okay? When you invite, just invite. But invite ka lang po. Huwag mo sabihin, isasalit, isasalit, one five. Grabe, no? 24,000 per day, no? Power? Hindi may intindihan ang kausahan. Ano yun? Diba? Can you imagine that? When you talk to your prospects, when you invite them, uh, friend, this is so exciting. You get a pen, you get a pen, you get a piece of, you get a, you, you get a piece of paper. Oh, partner, may, may, meron na akong papel. Ayan nga, oh, gumawa ka ng bilog. Ayan, bilog. O oh, gumawa ka ng kuhit kaliwat kanan. Ayan, kuhit kaliwat kanan. Gumawa ka pa ng bilog. Ayan, ayan. Kikita tayo dyan. Bari, ano yan? Yan naman pinagkakabalahan mo, yayaman tayo dyan. Iba dating, di ba? It's like inviting, many of your leaders will say, always be excited, invite, invite in each and every place where you can invite people. I mean, respect some other place. For some other leaders, they're so excited, they even invite in the comfort room. So can you imagine that male doing his thing, urinating, and then another Filipino came in, and the, and the leader said, hi, hi, do you want some extra income? <laughs> Can you imagine that? So invite professionally. When you invite professionally, don't text, don't email, don't WeChat, you call. Make your cell phone an asset. What do you mean? A cell phone, it's a liability. Because every month, there's a load to be paid. Am I right? Yes. Every month, you need to pay to the telco here. The only time it becomes an asset is that when you use it in business. And it starts making money, putting money in their pocket. So how will your cell phone be an asset? Call, use it for business. Friend, I have a business. You need to see this. We can make lots of money with our partnership. When are you free? Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday, 3 o'clock or 6.30? 6.30, let's meet up. Friend, I suppose you're the type of person, if something would come up, you would inform me ahead of time so I can give your seat to other people and be more interested than you are. Okay? Okay, see you then. Bye-bye. That's it. And on that day, send him a text. See you 6.30 at our meeting place. God bless. Just to confirm. Don't call, are you gonna attend? <laughs> he confirmed already when you invited him. Don't doubt if he's gonna come or not. Okay, just send a text confirming. Hey, see you later at our meeting. God bless. I'm excited to see you later at our meeting. God bless. The more professional you are in inviting people, the higher the chances of them coming up. And when he shows up at the presentation, your job is done with the invitation. Your job is done with the invitation. The next skill to be mastered is the skill for presentation. Okay? Some of you may be good at presenting. Some of you may not be good at presenting. Okay? Some of you doesn't even want to present. Some of you would like to invite people only, and that's good. And that's the first stage, okay? That's the first stage, in inviting people. When your group grows, guys, you need to already speak up. That's why some of you are being trained to speak up by introducing the speaker. By saying, I'm not the speaker for today, and we're just introducing the speaker. Because sooner or later, you need to speak up for your group. Not only for your dreams, but for the dreams of your entire organization. If I cannot see my upline speaking, I won't speak. Remember this. People will do what you do, not what you say. 
So if you say, I'll be in the meeting, be there, bring a lot of people. And if you won't show up, sooner or later, your people won't be showing up in the future meetings. Si Aplin no, wala ako pa kayo. May Aplin yung wasn't even there, so why would I have them? Si Aplin no, walang invite eh, ba't ako mag-invite? May Aplin did not invite anybody, so why would I bring in a new one? Okay? People will do what they see you doing. Okay? Not what you actually say. So when you're when you see your upline speaking up on the stage, introducing the speaker, you need to foresee yourself, I need to be a speaker someday. Even if I'm just gonna introduce the speaker. And that's the stage, that's the first stage. Sooner or later you're gonna present the product. Sooner or later you're gonna present the business. Sooner or later you're gonna do the closing. Sooner or later you'll be the one giving the testimony. I used to be like this, earning this much. I did end global business. Eight months ago, and, and now I'm earning an extra 15,000 dollars per month. Okay? And, and people will applaud you, and that's your only script. After some time of saying the same thing all over and over again, you add your personality onto it. After some time, you add your emotions onto it. After some time, you tell your story. And when you tell your story, that testimony becomes you. Because it's not the script anymore. It actually is you. At times, you may cry when you say your testimony. My husband left me with my kids. I don't have any money. I'm, 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 I'm full of debt with the bank. And when I started doing the business, it was so hard. But after a few months of doing the business seriously with the support of my upline, God's blessing, I'm out of debt right now. And when you say that, full of conviction, full of emotion, it becomes so powerful when people hear it. Actually, people join, people join because of the stories that they hear, okay? So when you're presenting, remember this, it's good to memorize stories. People will always remember stories. It's the concept of the sizzling plate, okay? Facts are good, facts are good, but stories sell. Stories are the one being remembered by the prospects. Okay? The sizzling plate concept is when you go to a restaurant and when you sat down, you, you, you try to look at the menu, what would I like to order? And then the waiter passes you by with a sizzling plate in his hand and delivered a sizzling steak at the table beside you. And you smell the rope, you smell the, the sizzling beef with some garlic on it, with some garnishes on it, and when you smell it, You'd want to order the same thing. Am I right? Yeah. You say, oh wait, give me the same thing. Because it's the sizzle that sells the steak. Same goes with our business. They will forget. They will forget 1,000 dirhams, 3,000 dirhams, 7,000 dirhams. They will forget the income that can be made. But they will always remember the stories that you'll mention. Stories about the product, stories about the business. Story about, about the oh, there was this lady who suffered from stage two breast cancer after taking C247 for six months. The, the, the cancer was cured. He, he or she will remember that. There was this uh, Filipino in Dubai for 10 years staying here in Dubai, did the business part time for six months, for eight months, and now that Filipino guy is earning what? An extra 1,000 dirhams per week. He will remember that. She will remember that. The prospect will remember that. And the prospect, when he brings it home, and when he thinks it over again, he will not remember the investment. He will even, they will even call you, how much is the investment again? But he or she will remember the stories that you've mentioned. The stories that they've heard, because the stories are very powerful. Okay? It can change the people's thinking about many things. They can change the decision. Maybe in the beginning, you will see, you can see on the, on the audience, the prospect, when you speak here at the stage, when you see people, okay, having a posture like this in the beginning, at times they're not receptive with what you're saying. But when they hear you talk, and then they started being comfortable with you, they started relaxing, and then you will see, okay, he's accepting what I'm saying, okay? So you can master that with that presentation. You tell them stories. Because when you tell them the when you tell them the stories, it will make them relax. It will make them comfortable with you. Okay. Particularly the stories that you will tell, guys. The people involved are in the room. 
But you say, you see that guy wearing that blue shirt? That guy is making, what, 10,000 dirhams per month part-time. Or you see that lady with the nurse uniform? It's actually a, a nurse working at this hospital doing this business part-time, and that lady is making, what, an extra 2,000 dirhams per week, doing it part-time. So when they see these people walking around the office, walking around the room, they can mirror themselves, seeing themselves into them. Oh, I can also do the same thing. I can also make the same amount of money like them because I'm also a nurse. I'm also a Filipino. I'm also an architect, just like that guy. So they can see themselves being successful like those people in your stories, like those people whom you pointed for particularly in actually in that room. Okay? Are you learning? Yes! When you use stories, okay, when you use stories, know their hot buttons. What are hot buttons? Hot buttons are the things that you feel. In some other terms, these are goosebumps. Okay, whenever there's a storyteller, okay, and when they when they say a story about some some other people whom you know of or the stories may relate to you directly or indirectly and it touches your heart, okay, it gives you goosebumps. One perfect example is that when, when preachers of many churches will do their lecture, at times on the latter part of the lecture, you feel something. Am I right? Yeah. And then when you, go, when you go home, you still feel that. Okay? It's the story that struck your heart and your mind and you feel something. That's one of the most powerful convictions or decision-making factor where a prospect will definitely buy into what you're offering. So no other hot buttons. So let's just say one of the hot buttons, your prospect for the past 10 years here in Dubai doesn't even own a car. And you know that the pro prospect for so many years wanted to have a car for himself. Okay, then you concentrate on that, okay? You concentrate on how him having a car for himself. You can say, you know what, with this business, if you will earn good money, you can buy yourself a brand new car. And then you can say, how do you think you would look like if you're driving a brand new Pajero? Since his hat bought on our cars, concentrate on that. Mention three or five sentences regarding how look he would, how he or she would look with a brand new car. How he or she would feel if they if she or, or he or she would have a car. How his family would appreciate him if he or she would have a car. Okay? If your prospect is suffering from a lot of debts, then concentrate on that when you when you do your presentation. What if, if you earn good money here? If you earn huge amount of income, you're able to pay off all of your debts whether here in Dubai or back home in the Philippines, or back from wherever you came from. Imagine your family's peace of mind, imagine your peace of mind going to sleep, not thinking if there would, if there would be somebody trying to give you some notification for not paying this and that, or dues that hasn't been paid for for so many years. You already have peace of mind because you already paid off your debts. So focus on that, okay? For some other people, their hot buttons are savings and investment. Okay? Imagine you have what? Imagine you have a million, a million dirham as your savings in your bank account. Imagine investing on this and that, putting up your own business, putting up investment, buying, buying investment opportunities because you have a lot of savings already. And if you make good money with this business, you can do that. If that is the hot button of the prospect, focus on that. Okay, and you can learn to know what hot buttons your prospects are into. Okay, for some other people, when they present, they focus on all. It's what, what we call shotgun approach. You mention all three, so that whatever the hot button of the prospect, you already hit him. Atamaan okay. So how do you do that? Let us say it's it's a group presentation. Let us say these are your prospects, these four guys in this room. And you're up, you're down line, but if you apply, partner, here are my guests. They already heard about the products, they already heard about the business. Prospects, here's my upline. It's a very powerful upline. 
is earning 2,000 dirhams part time per week. Listen to him. And when you talk to these guys, you try to see their posture. Everybody say posture. Oh. Okay, whenever you mention these three hot bottles, you see how their body would react. You say, and when you say, do you like the product? Yeah, I love the product. Okay, are you interested in, in doing the business? At times they will answer, at times they will not. Okay, and then if you can ask them, what if, you use that word, what if because of this business, you're able to buy a car for yourself? And then all of a sudden, this young guy who sits like this, when you mention car, car? And he smiled or his eyes glowed a little bit or grew bigger, it means, okay, the hot button of this guy's car. I'm gonna concentrate on you with a car in my mind, okay? And I'm gonna close you with cars as my closing technique. And then we, and when you say, what if because of this business you were able to earn so much, and you and you were able to pay off all your debts in the Philippines and in India, and then suddenly from from a very lax posture, you pay off the debt. Oh, I like that. Without him even saying it, you already know. Okay, this guy is full of debt. <laughs> So you know, you know how to close them personally. Have you ever met somebody that upon a short talk, you feel already comfortable with them? Yes. You, you would say, Gano'n pakaramdam ko sa kanya? Parang friend ko na siya. Meron ba gano'n? Yes. Why? Because that guy has read you. Has read what you've been thinking, has read your posture, has read how you feel. That's why he knows how to talk to you. He will not talk senseless things. He will talk things that matter to you and to what you care for. Okay? Same goes with business. If you're able to read the body language of the prospects that you're going to talk to, you know how to present to them. You know how to close them. Okay? At times, they'll even say that. Friend, I have a lot of debt. Okay? And if you heard about it, I'm That guy in blue shirt has a lot of debt. <laughs> so you concentrate on that. Okay? That guy in, in the white shirt with shirts feels so lonely. He wants he want some new friends. Okay? He wants some new, he wants to mingle with new people, with new friends, because he's lonely. Okay? He's been here in Dubai for, what, 10 years. And he got separated from his girlfriend. Okay, so the way it was with this, we had a lot of friends. We have a lot of new people meeting every day. I'll introduce you to some of the leaders. They have great people in their team. You, you can be friends with them. You can even date them. Okay? And it's true. When you mingle with a lot of people, you have new friends. Am I right? Yes. So if you're going to tell him what he would love to hear, buying into whatever you're offering is easy. Buying the seven heads, the three heads, the, the 1,000 dirham is easy. Because number one, the prospect feels comfortable with you already. The prospect would say, that guy seems to know me for such a long, long time. And I already met him within a few hours or within a few minutes only. How come he, he knows what I feel? He knows what I need. Okay? It's reading his body posture. It's about reading what the person needs and concentrating on that. Okay? When you tell the stories, when you tell the products, when you tell the business. Lastly, closing. Okay? When you master the art of closing, almost all of the prospect whom you then invite will surely pay in. It may not be on day one, but it will be on the succeeding days or weeks to come. Okay, would you like that to happen in your group? Yes. All of your invites will actually buy into whatever you're offering, one, three, or seven hands. Would you like that to happen? Yes. Okay, many studies will tell you, many research will tell you, Body language, intonation, listen to this, body language, intonation, the words that you use, it matters to the decision of the prospects. Okay? Intonation. Never, never close with a monotonous intonation. What's monotonous? Meaning your tone level is just on one, one tone. It's like this, our product is good. A lot of people are getting great help. A lot of people are earning so much. It's so exciting with this business. Would you like to join a group? <laughs> Is it power or power? <laughs> Monotonous. 
Many research will tell you if the speaker's voice is monotonous, the brain waves. Our brain waves are inactive. And if they are inactive, the brain waves would feel sleepy. If the brain waves are inactive, it's not receptive to the information that you are delivering to them. Remember, we are in the world of communicating. We're communicating our message to the prospects. As a leader, you're communicating your message to your downlines to, for them to duplicate what you're trying to teach them. Now, if your voice is monotonous, they won't achieve. They won't accept 100% what you're trying to deliver to them. So your voice should be playful. babago bago Okay, just like what the tones of the DJs and the VJs in MTV and in the radio. If you heard them, most of their voices have a lot of tones. Are you familiar with their, are you familiar with Papa Jack? Yes. Okay. If you're familiar with Papa Jack's voice, he screams, he cries, he makes laugh, he makes people laugh. Okay. His voice is so flexible. Same goes with business. Okay. Study shows that if your voice, a speaker, has a lot of tone levels, the audience brain waves are active. And if they are active, they are receptive to what you are saying. With that in mind, how will you use that to business? It's to upsell. Everybody say upsell. Upsell. If you notice that your prospects can invest on the seven hands, which is 7,000 million hops. Easy. So how do you do that? When you look at the watch, it's a Rolex watch. Rolex watch. When you look at the bag, it's an LV or a Prada bag. Oh, this prospect can invest 7,000 million hops. Okay? By, by the way he carries her or himself, by the way he carries or, or, or the, the jewelry that he wear, you can notice that. So having heard of what I said, about monotonous and a very playful tone of voice, inactive versus active brain waves, receptive versus unreceptive brain brain waves. How do you use that? When you're already on the part of making them choose whether it's a one head, three accounts, or seven heads, you may lead them, you may lead them to your voice intonation to the seven accounts. Would you like to learn that? Yes. When you offer them the one and three accounts, okay, purposely create a monotonous voice. <laughs> purposely. How do you do that? With your business, it's so good. A lot of people are making so much money. How would you like to start the business? With one head, with three head, they're okay. <laughs> but the best position are the seven heads position. So when he or she went home, goes home, what she will remember is not the one head. What she will remember are not the three heads. What she or he will remember were the seven heads. Because during the times that you were mentioning one and three, you purposely have a monotonous voice. One head, it's okay. It's 1,000 dirhams. Three heads, they're good, they're 3,000 dirhams. But the best position is the seven heads. And it is the 7,000 dirhams. Yeah. So as the prospect goes home, we will not think about the one hand. We will think, seven hands is good. Seven hands. I think I can do, I can invest seven hands. I can sell my wife. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can sell the dog. <laughs> okay. I mentioned earlier, to lead them into what you want, them to invest with intonation, choice of words, body language. Okay? Body language. In, in communication skills, they are called visual, what they see, auditory, what they hear, and kinesthetic, what they feel. Okay? What they feel. So if you would like them to invest on the seven heads, which is 7,000 dirhams, if you would like to lead them, use body language as well. And the good choice of words. What do you mean? Whenever you say something good, a good adjective, what's a positive adjective? Good, great, best, nice, okay? 
Those kind of adjectives. Ang maganda, ang okay, ang power, ang the best. When you mention adjectives like that, all your body language are powerful. Always point one of your organ, one of your hands onto this. Like this. The good part about the marketing plan is that it creates so much millionaire. The best part about the company is they're reaching out to a lot of people. And the most powerful in our presentation are the products. They really work. So consciously and directly, you're telling them the products are powerful. Indirectly and subconsciously, you're telling them seven heads is powerful. Do you get what I mean? Yes. Okay. Consciously and directly, you're telling them the good part about the company is they're reaching out to people. Subconsciously and directly, you're telling them seven head is good. Okay, because there are two parts of communication, conscious and subconscious. Okay? Most of our decisions are made by the subconscious mind. So if you can able to talk to people subconsciously, it is so powerful. Doc, what are conscious and subconscious parts of our mind? Conscious, these are the things that you think to perform. Let's just say, I'll be eating chicken. So if I eat chicken, I need to cook chicken. Okay? I need to buy chicken from the groceries, cut them, boil them, fry them, grill them, whatever. Consciously. But as you cook, as you chop, as you chop the, the chicken, okay, you're breathing, okay? You're listening to music. You're probably dancing while you're, you're, you're chopping the chicken. Those are indirectly or subconscious. You don't need to think about it. Conscious mind, you're thinking one thought at a time. Subconscious mind, you're thinking hundreds of thousands of thoughts at a time. Again, conscious, one thought at a time. Subconscious, hundred thoughts of a time. Example, while I'm walking on the stage, I'm actually walking, holding the mic, talking, wiping my, my perspiration, okay? Breathing, those are the things that I do not need to think about because they actually happen every minute, every second of my life. Am I clear? Yes. So, subconscious is more powerful than the conscious part of our minds. So if you're able to talk to prospects subconsciously, indirectly, that's very, very powerful. In some other books, they will tell you this. It's called conversational hypnotism. It's just like you're talking to them, but you're hypnotizing them into buying into what you want. To buy into what you're offering. Okay, so this is a very, very powerful way of communicating to people. Okay, so when you talk to them like, the great part of our business is that Lots of millionaires are being created on a regular basis. Subconsciously, you're telling them, seven heads is great. Okay, so you use that. You use that on proper timing. Okay? Proper timing. Not as if you're dancing. Okay? The great part of our business is that uh, a lot of people are uh, having great health. Okay? Do it synergistically. Do it with proper timing. Also, one way. One way so that people will feel comfortable with you even though it's the first time that they introduce you, introduce them to you. And just say, here are my friends. Mon is my upline. Upline Mon, these are my friends. They have heard about the product. They have heard about the business of friends. Listen to Mon. He's a good guy. He's earned so much with his business. And so that Mon can speak freely to them and they would feel comfortable with Mon because this is the first time they're going to meet Mon. At times they lose this Mon. Why are we being introduced to Mon? How come, Doc? Why don't you just explain the business to us? Why do we need to hear it from Mon? Okay? So that they would feel comfortable with Mon, Mon can also use the right words and body language. Okay? But this time around, he's not directing his body language to the seven hands. He's directing the body language to himself. How do you do that? Guys, the best part of this business, a lot of people are improving their lifestyle every day. The good part of our company, a lot of people are earning on a part-time basis. The best part about our business, we're going to help you make a lot of money. Did you see that? What I did? 
Every time I say good, best, great, I point my, I use my hand and point it to myself. Because subconsciously, I'm telling them, I'm good, I'm great, I'm the best. Okay, so, so when they walk home and discuss about the business, that guy is good. I can feel him. That guy seems to be great. Okay, they will be comfortable and relaxed with bond. Because subconsciously, indirectly, they've seen it through body language. Whenever you say the word great, best, good, he points it to himself. Or in a local language, you can say, Brother, ang maganda sa negosyo to, tulungan tayo sa pagyaman. Ang maganda sa negosyo to, grabe yung products. They're so convincing, they're so powerful. Ang maganda sa company, Pilipino owned. Pagpalikod ko, grabe, bilib ako doon sa upline mo. Gano'n ang pakaramdam ko sa kanya? Parang ang galing niya, parang gusto ko na siya. Anong number niya? <laughs> okay? Guys, uh, with this kind of techniques, guys, not girls, guys, you can use this to get good girls. Okay? There was, there was one leader. There was one leader back home in the Philippines. This one leader was making something like 10,000 dirhams per week. 10,000 dirhams per week. And since he's very young and he was able to make so much money, he tried to use the business skills to life skills because this guy is single. And as a single young guy exploring, okay, his, his uh, young hood, okay, looking for some girls to date with, he used these skills. Okay? And when he talks to people, when, and, and when girls and what do you do? Well, well I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur. Okay? The good thing about being an entrepreneur, okay, you're, you're, you can dictate your hours. The best part about being an entrepreneur, you don't have any boss. The boss is yourself. And the really great thing about being an entrepreneur, you wake up late, you sleep late. So the lady are thinking, that guy is great. <laughs> that guy is the best. <laughs> so they can easily date young girls or single girls. Okay? So the things that you will learn here, you can use it to your wife. Why are you late? I just came from a very good company. <laughs> we, have a, we have the best meeting. <laughs> okay? You can use this to your kids, you can use this to your husband, you can use this to your wife, okay? And watch how they react. Watch how they react, okay? Because again, everything is about communication. And if you can communicate to them 100% consciously and subconsciously, that will be so, so much powerful. Okay, are you learning? Yes! Okay? Body language, intonation, the use of words, okay? There are some words to be used that will make them say yes. Would you like, would you like to hear about it? Yes. Would it be okay if I teach you all of those techniques? Yes. Would it be okay if I teach you how to earn six-figure dear home income yes. weekly? Yes. What are the words to be used? Okay. What are the words and attributes to be used? Number one, smile. Can I say smile from your faces? Smile. Smile. Not, not here. See. Can I see smile? Smile. Can I say, can I see smile? Please smile. Don't say the word smile. Oh, can I see smile on your faces? Yeah, those are smiles. Why do we need to smile, guys? When we were young, when we were babies, when we were babies, We've seen so many smiles, hundreds if not thousands of them. And our minds, our minds are like computers. All of the things that we've seen from day one up to now that you're still living, it's same in our brains. The only problem is that you cannot remember them, but it is saved there, okay? And it affects your decision, whatever decision it is. Doc, you mean to tell me all of the things that I've seen, even all of the things that I've heard of ever since I was young, I was a baby, it's saved in my brain? Yes, how come I cannot remember them? Because that's the way our minds are being programmed. We can only utilize 3, 4, or 5% of our brain. Normal human beings can utilize 2, 3, 4, 5% of your brain capacity. 
when Einstein died, when Albert Einstein died, and when the doctors autopsied the brain of Mr. Einstein, they found out Albert Einstein is utilizing 12% of his brain. 12! And Einstein is already a genius. What more normal people like us? We're only utilizing 2, 3, 4 times 5% of our brain capacity. But the reality is, all of the things we've seen, we've heard of, is same in our brain, just like a computer chip. If you're an expert in hypnotism, you can extract that. What have you seen when you were five years old, when, when the time that you were at this house? When you're hypnotized, you can say that because it's safe. And most hypnotists can extract that data from you. Okay, same goes with business, with closing techniques. When we were babies, we seen, we have seen hundreds, if not thousands of smiles. What do you mean? We've seen that. When, when, when adults approach you when you were just babies, what did they say? Oh, this baby is so cute. This baby is so cute. It's already embedded in our brain that smiling is good. So when you approach your prospects and when you smile, okay? When you approach your prospects and when you smile, it creates a positive vibe from your prospects. Why is this guy smiling? Just try to do that, you go to the mall, and when you somebody approach you, when somebody is walking opposite your direction, and you're about to meet them, just smile. So what do you think they will do? Smile, smile back. Because that's the most natural, inherent thing to do as a, normal, as a normal human being. When somebody is smiling at you, your brain says, when you were young, a lot of smiles, or you have seen a lot of smiles, so smile back. That's a normal reaction of a normal person. So smiling is good. So when you're, when you're talking to prospects, pause for a while and smile. Am I clear? Yes. Use words like, okay, everybody say okay. Okay. Okay connotes positive. If you create a lot of positive vibe to your prospect, the higher the chances of them signing up. Can you remember this question? Telling, your, telling it to your friend, friend, are you okay? Even if your friend is suffering from so much depression, what will he say? Okay lang ako. I'm okay. Am I right? Yes. Ang hiwalay yung mag-asawa, okay, okay lang, okay lang ako. <laughs> Ang hiwalay yung mag-boyfriend, okay, okay lang, okay lang ako. Okay is the most positive word in the world. Even if you're 100% fully depressed, if you're 100% suicidal, if somebody would ask you, are you okay? You say, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> because okay has been programmed, have been programmed to our mind as something positive. Okay? Ever since we're young, okay is good, okay is positive. Okay? When, when, when you feel lonely and somebody asks you, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. No, never in your entire career, in your entire life, that you will hear a reply, Hindi ako okay! Kausapin mo ko! Okay? Very seldom you will hear that. Somebody saying, I'm not okay, please talk to me, I'm so depressed. Okay. So how do you start in business? These are, we say that these are the five words that bypasses our conscious mind. Goes direct to the subconscious mind. These, these are the five words. Would it be okay if? Would it be okay if? In Tagalog, okay lang ba kung? Okay? Let's start in English first. So, when the prospects have heard about the product and the business and finally introduce you as the upline, what will you say after some few words? You can say, okay lang ba kung tuluhan kayo, kung tuluhan ko kayo maman? Okay lang ba kung tulungan kayo kumita ng malaking linggo-linggo? Okay lang ba gawa mo ng parang seven hands? Okay? See, you use the word okay and you use series of okay question. And you can make the prospect say yes instantly. Would you like to hear an example? Yes. It's like this. Let's just say, uh, somebody else has presented the product and the business and I'm here to close. Okay, so in, in Taglish, in a local language, okay, and they introduce me. What would I say is something like this. Guys, maganda ba yung products? Yes. Maganda ba yung business? Yes. Okay lang matulong ko kayo umaman? Yes. Okay lang matulong ko kumita ng milyong linggo-linggo? Yes. Okay lang magawa ng parang sa Yes. Tamo? 
Bigat mo siya, mental. Ay, ha? Okay lang kung uwi pa sa mo? Oo, ha? Ba't uwi sa mo? You were able to say yes even before the question actually ends. Have you noticed that? Because you use it on a series form. Okay? You use two or three questions that they would definitely say yes. You inject on the third or the fourth question. Okay lang ba daw ang unang palaan yung 7,000 dinars? Yes, ha? Sinabi mo na yun, ha? Sinabi mo na yun. And even if they won't react that way, even if they won't react that way, in Henry they would say, parang ang dali na mo, napao mo. Okay? Because you use it properly. In English, would it be okay if I teach you how to earn millions per week? Would it be okay if I'll mentor you so you can earn so much? Would it be okay if, if you find out that you're gonna earn millions, you invest in 7,000 dollars? Okay? Use it in that way. And definitely they would say yes, 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 yes. And the more they say yes, the higher the chances of them signing up. Have you noticed how mentor up, mentor up, Francis Miguel delivered his talk? Tama, tama, tama. Tama? And if you notice him, he's saying the word right, tama, and he's nodding his head. You're not only hearing the word right, but you're also seeing him nodding his head. So it's visual and auditory. Tama? Tama ba? Tama? Tama eh. <laughs> so the impact is powerful. It's actually scientific. Okay? Instead of saying tama, tama, tama ba? Say tama ba? Tama ba? Ha? Tama, tama. <laughs> tama, tama. Tama eh. So when you use when you use a two prong approach, hearing your words and seeing how you deliver them, it makes a, so much positive impact to the prospects. Okay, so use them, use them properly. Okay, practice this, practice this. Lastly, last ten minutes a day. Okay, lastly, guys, this is one of my favorite. Okay, and this is one of the most, one of the most. Effective, okay? Effective means of closing people. I call this the MPSP technique. Most people, some people. Okay. Since, since consciously and inherently we as human, we don't want to be so much unique. We don't want to be differentiated so much. That's why there's a saying, no man is an... Island. You want to belong to a certain group. Okay, if you're a happy person, you would like to belong to a happy, happy group of people. If you're a studious person or you're a geek, you'd like to study so much, you like to watch National Geographic, you'd like to mingle with people who also watch the same thing. Okay, we align with people who are more or less the same like us. Okay, so chances are those friends of yours, you created them because you want to belong to that group of people or sick of the friends. Am I right? Yes. So having that in mind, okay, in business, there's this approach where, where you can discern to your prospects that he needs or she needs to buy into this business indirectly and subconsciously. How do you do that? If Let's just say the product's already been explained, the business has already been explained, you use this closing technique. Partner, friend, prospect. Most people, most people, when they hear about our business, they join. And most people, they earn a lot of money. But some people, but some people, they, yes, they wanted to become rich, but they don't want to do something about it. We cannot blame them. They're going to die poor. But most people, after hearing this, they join. And most people, they earn every week with this business. So the prospect will say, am I most people or am I some people? Most people are joining, most people are earning, some people are not joining, they want to become rich but they die poor. I don't want to be poor. I want to be part of most people. I don't want to be part of some people. So whenever you mention most people, you create so much positive qualities. 
When you say some people, you create negative qualities. In our local language, most people is karamihan. Some people is yung iba. How will you use this? Partner, karamihan ang nakikinig sa amin, sumasali. Karamihan ang sumasali. Kumikita, partner. Pero yung iba, hindi mo na masisili. Gusto ngayon yung maman, tatamad-tamad naman. Hindi mo mamatay na mahirap yung iba. Pero karamihan, ay karamihan sumasali, partner. So pag nakinig ko yun, ako ba karamihan ako yung iba? Yung iba, mamatay na mahirap. Ayaw mamatay na mahirap yung karamihan. And it's inherent for us to align with ourselves, with align with people who are in the bigger part of the group, rather than with the smaller part of the group. Particularly if you connote the smaller part of the group with negative attributes. Okay? So you use that. You also use this to motivate your people. Motivate your leaders. Are there some leaders of yours who are supposed to be here but are not here? Meron ba? Sinabi ka atin, pero hindi mo umatin. Meron ba? Yes. Magkatanong ba sa'yo bukasyon? Yes. O how will you answer? Partner, karamihan sa umatin. Ang daming natutunan. Grabe, masabog grupo namin. Pero yung iba, sabi atin, hindi naman umatin. Huwag na lang magagawa. Pero karamihan, grabe, partner! <laughs> Tapos susundan ka naman pa. You can add something on the end. Partner, bukas may meeting, magdala ka ng sampung tao. Since na-motivate yun, magdala ka ng sampung tao yun. Ginamit naman ng most people, some people technique. Okay? So those technique, you use it, and it will create a huge organization that would basically buy into your being. Lastly, okay, this is what I would like you to understand. Okay? Are there some medically inclined people in the house? There are nurses in the house? Okay. Okay, thank you. These are the techniques that I use for the past 17 years to lessen the attrition. Do you know what attrition is? Say attrition. Attrition, these are, I'm sure you experienced this, some people quitting into the business. They quit. They, they're no longer active. Are there those kind? Are there, do you, do you suffer? Do you, does your group suffer from the same thing? So what do you mean? They will join seven heads. They're so excited, day one, day two, they're so excited. After a week, when you text them, they ask you back, who you? <laughs> Sounds familiar? Yes. Okay. They invested three heads and they're saying, at last, I will become a millionaire here in Dubai. At last, there's a way for me to pay out my debts. And then all of a sudden, after two months, when you call them, I'm no longer interested with the business. It's called attrition. In a local language, we call it na virus. <laughs> na Ebola. Na virus. Now, the reason I ask if there are some medically inclined people in the house is this has something to do with how, how we make ourselves immune with diseases, with diseases. Remember when we were babies, we get some vaccines from the doctors, from the nurses. Are you familiar with vaccines? Yes. What are vaccines? Listen to this. What are vaccines? Let us say this is the baby. Okay. The vaccines, basically, these are given to us through injection. That's the actual disease. This is the actual disease being injected to the babies. Doc, do you mean to say when my baby receives a measles vaccine, the doctor is basically injecting the measles virus to my baby? Yeah. It's the actual disease, but in a minute form, okay, with low virulence and low activity. Meaning, it's not sufficient to cause the disease itself. It is just to trigger, everybody say trigger. Trigger the immune system to create what we call the antigen antibody reaction. Your body's will create a very powerful immune system that would create the antigen antibody reaction that would produce the antibodies for the measles. And when your body already has antibodies for measles, when you grow up, expose yourself with measles disease, guess what? You won't get infected. That's how vaccine works. Am I clear? Yes. 
How is it related to business? The same thing. Okay? How? It's like this. Whenever somebody signs up from your group, okay, the most important thing to do is to attend the next training. Am I right? Yeah. What do you call the training? NDO, New Distributors Orientation. Am I clear? Yes. The question is, when would they attend the NDO? After how many days? Supposedly within 48 hours. But were they able to attend within 48 hours? At times, they, I'm, I'm busy. Yes, I'm invested. So I'm excited, but I can only attend next week or two weeks from today. What if? Within that two weeks period, within that next 48 hours, they suffered from virus infection. They're so excited. I'm already invested seven years. I'm going to be rich here in Dubai. I have a lot of connection. And then without proper training, without proper guidance, he picks up the phone and invites his best friend. Best friend will be rich. Come on, in my house, invest 7,000 dirhams. We have some food supplement. This is a networking business and we will be rich. Patay. <laughs> and what will the prospect say? What? You joined a network marketing business? Are you, are you, are you a fool? Are you an idiot? Why did you let yourself fool with that guy? My God. I thought, I thought you're intelligent. I thought you're smart. Why did you let yourself fool with that kind of opportunity? How do you think that guy would feel? Yeah, I'm a fool. <laughs> I was scum. Okay, just come to my house and let's drink beer. <laughs> so here you are, it's a powerful upline. Oh well, how are you? Let's go, let's go for a thing. Who are you? <laughs> now you know. <laughs> They got virus because they were not trained. You tell, you told them attend the next NDO, and the only time that he can attend a two-hour NDO is by four days from now, five days from now, one week from now, two weeks from now. He or she can get virus, and if he got virus, bye bye. Okay. So what do you need to do if he or she signs up? You give him a 10-minute NDO, just 10 minutes, and this is so, so powerful. Okay, for those group, what are the names of the group here? Falcon? Are there, are there Falcons in the house? Yeah. What other, what, what's the other name of the group? TGX, are there TGX in the house? Okay, other, other, other parts of the, other names of the group? Rockets, are there Rockets in the house? Guys? You create a one-piece paper with the logo of your group and the logo of the company and it, it says there all the positive and the negative things that can happen. Okay? Positive, logo of the company, logo of the group, and then all of the positive things that can happen. Sorry, all of the negative first. All of the negative things that can happen and all of the positive things here. Positive things. You know this already when I go to this one by one. And then there's some words in here and then you let him sign. Sign here. And you as the leader of the group, you sign here as well. Okay? Before you let them go, after they paid 1,000 dirhams, 2,000, 3,000, or 7,000 dirhams, on that particular moment, it would just take five to ten minutes. You explain this. Okay? So when they invest, the first thing you need to do is congratulate them. And when you congratulate them, of course, you smile. You say, congratulations. You're on your way to success. You're not hyping him. You're not lying to him because he's not yet already successful. He's just on his way or her way to being successful because he just signed up. Am I right? Okay. Positive, positive sentence number one. Congratulations. You are on your way to being a successful distributor. Or you are on your way to success. Second script. I see you as somebody serious. Okay? Somebody 
I see you as someone serious. I see you as someone as hardworking. I see you as someone who wants to pursue his dream. And then you ask him, am I right? What do you think he will answer? Yes. yes. You use those words. Serious, hardworking, wanted to pursue his dream. And then you ask him, am I right? Yes. These are the facts of the business. Okay? And then you go take one by one. Number one. Number one negative. These are the facts of the business. 95% of all businesses in the world, whether networking or non-networking, they fail within their first five years. What? Yes. They fail. Why do they fail? Lack of knowledge, lack of motivation, okay, lack of skills. Tell them, because those are true. You ventured into the business, you don't know so much of it, you lack the skills, you did not pursue it, you're not excited, you will fail. And these are statistics. Okay? These are these are not numbers from the air, these are true. 95% of all businesses in the world fail within their first five years. Why? Lack of skills, lack of knowledge, lack of interest, and motivation. Scheme. Skills, knowledge, interest, and motivation. Okay? What else? They listen to dream stealers. You write them down. They listen to dream stealers. What would the dream stealers say? What would they say? They will say something like this. Scum yan. That's a scam. It's pyramiding. It won't last. It will close by two or three years. Una -una hayan, he who joined first will make the most money. You did not join. You're not one of the first batch. You will not make any money. You say all the negative things that you've been hearing in the industry. Am I clear? Yes. 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 Am I clear? Yes. After mentioning all of those negative, you mentioned the positive. So what will you say? Partner, may positive din naman. Ano yung positive? Okay? Ano yung positive? Ito na, sabihin mo. Pag natupunan mo na, if you will be able to understand either on a part-time basis and practice the business seriously, you perform it with the hard work and you really wanted to pursue your dream, Part 10, magkaka-coach ka dyan. Magkaka-house and lot ka. Magkaka-savings ka. You can earn a lot of savings. Magkaka-investment ka. Okay? Matutupad mo lahat ng pangarap mo. Pangarap mo. Magkakaroon ka ng maraming savings. Maraming deal house. You mention it. And then you let them sign. I fully understand all the facts of the business. And I'm pursuing the business with hard work, with perseverance, with love. With interest, with skills, the right skills and right attitude, sign. Moon. Sign. And you think, and you let them take it home. Okay? So here comes the mistake I mentioned earlier. I'm so excited. This is a 10 minute NDO. You're so excited. He picks up the phone. Fred, yeah, yeah, man. He doesn't know how to invite. <laughs> He still doesn't know how to invite because what we taught him are the past, the negatives, and the positives. Am I clear? Yes. Same mistake. He picks up the phone. Partner will be multi millionaires. Invest 7,000 dirhams. We have some beauty products, some soap, some feminine wash, 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 some food supplement. We will be rich. Come on, go to my house. And then here goes the dreaded reply What? You join the network marketing? Are you a fool? Why did you let them fool you? I thought you were intelligent. I thought you were smart. So what now would this distributor feel? Wow, my upland told me about this. <laughs> he told me somebody will say that I'm a fool. Lahat ng sinabi mo dito kanina, naririnig niya na ngayon sa ibang tao. Do you get what I mean? Yes. All of those negative things that you mentioned earlier, your 5-10 minute NDO, now he's hearing it from the prospects. How are he would she feel? Ang galing ni Upline! Oh, Nahulaan yung mangyayari sa buhay ko! <laughs> the 
following day, that new design of the distributor will pull you up line. Nag-invite ako kahapon. Ang galing mo. Sabi nila, ba't ako nagpalukot? Di ba sinabi mo sa akin yun? Galing mo, part of the movie, sasabihin sa akin. Ano pa? Do you think may effect sa kanya yun o wala? Sinabi mo na kasi. Binaksinan mo na. All of those negative that can happen to him, you as a powerful apply, you mention it first. Rather than him feeling it from strangers or from friends that he knows. Am I clear? Yes. Pag sinabi mo na yung mangyayari sa kanyang pangit at na-experience niya, bali wala na yun. Magka-attrition pa siya ng five times, six times, seven times, ay, active pa rin yun. Now you understand. Yes. As, as a responsible parent, you try to do the same thing with your kids. If you have a daughter, if you have a son, you try to protect them from this world. Am I right? Yes. Oh, don't go along with people who are like this. Oh, don't smoke. Don't go with people who drink salad. Oh, don't. You try to do the same thing. So that if your kids will grow and hear about these things, oh, my mom told me about this. Oh, my dad told me not to mingle with this kind of people. It's the same thing. The only difference is these guys are not your relatives. These guys are your teammates in your group. And if you protect them from the negative things that can happen, you inform them the day that they invested 1,000, 2,000, or 7,000 dirhams, that you will encounter this. If they will encounter this on the real world, won't have an effect on them. Now you understand. Yes. So can you imagine all of your groups who signed up from day one who are still still today, still active today? Can you imagine that those people who become inactive would still be active today? If they're still active, can you imagine the, 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 the numbers in your group? Would it be big or bigger? Bigger. Would be bigger. Now you know the secret. Now you know why, why most group in the company back home in the Philippines, they suffer very, very minimal attrition. Even though they're in a part-time or full-time basis, they're all active because they use this. Okay, so all of the groups that I've mentioned now, you create a one piece paper. Okay, you put them the name for your logo, let them sign. It's like a seal of approval, it's like a pledge to the business, you will encounter this. And you know what, what they will feel? Partner, I already heard about this, 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 this. All of the negative things you've said, I've experienced it. And he's happy. Why? Because once you've experienced all of the negative things from the list, you will now experience the positive things on the list. So the more they experience the negative, they will be happy. Because they're going to say, okay, it's the last one on the list. After this, I will experience this. <laughs> because you've mentioned because you've mentioned all of this already. And chances are, chances are, once they persevere, all of these negative things, all of these things that they're gonna hear from the real world, after they stand here and do the business seriously, even on a part-time basis, chances are when the time comes, they're gonna experience this. True to its word. Ang tumagal na yan, kikita na yan, bakit? Kakapal na mukha nyo. Tama, tama. Kamu pa lang ang mukha eh. So kamu pa lang mukha, lumaki grupo. Talaga kikita na yan, magkakasibings talaga yan, magkakakonsya talaga yan, makakabay talaga ng utang yan. Why? Kasi na tumagay sa business, ganyan naman dito eh. The more you're gonna stay with the business longer, the more you're gonna find out with a lot, a lot of things that can help you grow the business. Okay? Are you learning? Yes! Do you want some more? Yes! Do you want some more? Yes! Guys, my partner is already here. Let's give up for our usual traditional clap. One million! Two million! Three million! Let's welcome our Chief Marketing Officer, Mr. Jonas Medina!